Good morning from Siem Reap. We are just outside of our hostel and we are waiting to be picked up. We're going on a small group tour of Angkor Wat at sunrise. So we've just come to the ticketing office. So in most tours that you are going to go on to come here, the ticket to get into Angkor Wat Temple Complex is going to be separate from the tour that you're going to be buying. So we ended up getting these. You notice that these actually have our photos on them as an anti-fraud measure. Genius, by the way. So they took our photos. It was 37 USD for one day. I think for three days it was $62 if that's more your jam. So we have these now and we're gonna head in. It's just us and our closest hundreds of friends watching the sunset here at Angkor Wat. Angkor was the former capital city of the Khmer Empire, lasting from 802 to 1431 AD. The site was abandoned and left to ruin for centuries until Henri Mouhot, a French naturalist and explorer, accidentally rediscovered the Angkor Temple complex in 1860. Upon finding the temples, his detailed illustrations and descriptions of these incredible sites prompted more expeditions to the area and eventually led to the excavation and restoration of the temples for all to enjoy. There are over 1,000 temples in the Angkor area, the largest and most recognizable being the famous Angkor Wat. It was originally built as a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu by the king of the Khmer Empire, Surivarman II, during the 12th century but was later transformed into a Buddhist temple. Adorned with sculptures, carvings, and stunning architecture, Angkor Wat is deservedly visited by millions of tourists each year and is now synonymous with tourism in Cambodia. Suryavarman II's successor, King Jayavarman VII, established Angkor Thom, just north of Angkor Wat, in the late 12th century. Bayon Temple was built in the center of the city as the state temple. It is sometimes referred to as the Temple of Faces due to its many towers, each bearing four faces pointing the cardinal directions of north, south, east, and west, resembling both Buddha and the king that had them built. Angkor Thom, along with its temples, was abandoned in the 15th century when the Khmer Empire came under attack and were forced to relocate to Phnom Penh.
One kilometer east of Angkor Thom stands Ta Prom, a Buddhist temple, monastery, and center of religious learning also built by the aforementioned King Jayavarman VII. Its eventual abandonment led to the temple site being rewilded, allowing huge trees to grow, intertwining themselves with the temple structure. This temple was also a shooting location for the 2001 film Tomb Raider, giving it the nickname of the Tomb Raider Temple. Just a little further on stands Bantai Kadai, reported to be the first temple that King Jayavarman VII built between the mid-12th and early 13th centuries. Also known as the Citadel of Monks, the temple has been occupied by monks at various intervals until the 1960s. Firstly, sorry about the light, it's the only one that we can get in this room, but to reflect on what was probably one of the most epic mornings that we've had on our travels so far and we've had a few good ones all of that was just amazing getting to see each of those temples in their glory as intended was wonderful hitting up sunrise at Angkor Wat was actually a really good decision I feel like I was regretting it when we were getting up but actually it is probably one of the best place to see it and actually like even though it was kind of raining a little bit then that cloud cover provided you with such incredible vivid color and getting to see a rainbow at the other end of the complex once it was all done was pretty special mm -hmm. quite the collector's item actually but i think really what stands out for me aside from getting to see some truly incredible sights was also just the tour actually we booked this through our accommodation with very little expectations. We opted to go for a shared small group tour and it turns out that that was coordinated with local guides in Siem Reap. Pickup was fantastic and we just got properly taken care of the entire day. I think it cost $15 US per person. And while you do potentially have the option to get like a tuk-tuk or something like that for around about the same price, which basically just takes you door to door to each of the bits that you want to see, paying the extra for the local guide was, I think, very much well worth it. The insights that we managed to get in terms of what we were able to see at the temples, as well as some cultural insights, and even getting some personal stories from our guide, say, was really invaluable and the fact that we were able to get all of the ad hoc questions answered without needing to consult google because he was basically as knowledgeable as google was really really good and while we don't generally opt to splurge out extra on tour guides and things like that i think for this one it was actually worth it i agree for all of the reasons that you mentioned i do think the downside to doing a group tour is that you don't necessarily get to spend as long as you would like at each temple. The only one that I truly felt that we were short on time was Angkor Wat Temple, the first one. I would have liked to have probably an extra 15 minutes at least to explore, but I think that for all the reasons you mentioned, including the historical facts and personal stories and cultural insight that we gained by having an amazing tour guide like say 
made it worth it in the end, I would recommend doing the small group tour. We also met some really cool people on the tour. And my personal favorite temple, by the way, was Tab Prom, which is the Tomb Raider temple. I just thought it was so beautiful how nature had become intertwined with the temple. I loved how you could see all of these beautiful detailed carvings, but there was so much greenery and life around it. And I just felt like the whole site gave it this really peaceful and tranquil and serene quality to it. I thought today was so special for that reason. It truly really was. I think they really did carefully select kind of the best ones to go to. And they did it kind of in the right order as well, because getting that sunrise at Angkor Wat was something you needed a lot of energy for in the first place. And then going to the Temple of Faces after that was definitely a good stepping off point too. And then you had a little break for lunch. And then after that, it was just two very beautiful, serene, relaxed and rewilded temples where you could basically be just as one with nature as you could with exploring the ruins. And so, yeah, I think all in all, the whole, I mean, I want to say day, but it was actually half a day because we finished by like 12.30. Yeah, but um, at the same time, we were collected at 4.30, so it was eight hours still. Yeah, so it still very much felt like a full day. But yeah, the way in which we did it on this one, I think was absolutely the right way. And I think we would heartily recommend that anybody who came to CM Reap for this specific purpose did the same. You can get a three-day ticket to visit Angkor Temple Complex if you want to see more temples. As we mentioned, there are over a thousand temples. You could probably spend over a month here exploring. The reason we chose to just do a guided tour of what I guess they consider the most important temples is because we're going to be in this part of the world for a long time and we've heard you can get templed out and we really want to appreciate the temples we see so we think it's important to almost curate which temples we do see in this case slow and steady definitely wins the race but i think that's all we've got for today so until next time take care and keep smiling